Hey everybody, today we are here in Gatlinburg, Tennessee for the spring rod run and uh, it's Wednesday, April 17th, so it hasn't really got underway yet, but uh, we thought we'd come up here a little early and uh, get a look at the cars. Here's a 56 Chevrolet and it's got a really good shine to it. The way it looks, it looks like it's original paint that has some type of uh, clear on or something, but it looks really good. Take a look on the inside here. It looks like, yeah, might be even original style uh, seating still inside. Here's a really nice 69 Camaro. I think that is the uh, Hugger Orange. Got a small block in it. Here's a 55 Chevrolet that's a bright orange. They've added a hood scoop to it, and there is a list of uh, that includes the uh, engine and all that's been done to it, and I guess it's for sale because there's a number at the bottom, and that red 55 beside of it, I think it's for sale also, but there's no price given. Now here's a 39 Ford that is for sale. And uh, they do have a price on it, it's $24.5. It still has uh, original style interior, but you can tell it's been padded more than it would have when it was new, I would, I would guess. Here's a nice looking 54 Chevrolet. It says it has a 350 engine in it, and uh, it is for sale also. They want, uh, let's see. 28.5 for that. It does have the old style American mags on it, which I really like those. And it is a uh, manual four shift transmission. Here's a 63 Impala station wagon here. If you like station wagons, which I do, and uh, they've clear, co clear coated over the uh, original paint on it also, it looks like. Here's a rat rod on the back of this old uh, uh, stub nose holler here. Looking at the dash, it looks like the speedometer may have come out of like a mid 50s uh, Chevrolet vehicle. Here's a 2000 model uh, Dodge Viper. Now this pickup truck, it caught my attention from a distance. This is just a really bright yellow. It's really a beautiful truck. We've got side pipes on it here. It says it's a uh, 39 Chevrolet. But yeah, this has really been done up really well. Really a beautiful truck. You can see even in the bed, it's just a really, really clean truck. Yeah, that's really nice. I really like this pickup. And here's a, uh, I think it's a mid 80s Camaro. Got a lot of the engine sticking out through the hood there. I see he's got a blower on it. Here's a really pretty uh, dark red 67 uh, Chevelle. I did a walk around it. It has a uh, big block in it. And it is a uh, four speed. Nice. And I like what this, I guess it's probably early 50s, could be late 40s, I think it's early 50s though. So. But uh, they have dropped a small block Chevy in it, which probably came with six cylinder. But I really like what the paint looks like here. It's just a, uh, a mixture. You can see where paint has peeled and chipped off and they've just went back down to the uh, metal and cleared over it. But that's really, pretty cool in the bed as you can see this has steel plate in here here's a 36 Ford pickup truck for uh, 27,000 looks like it has a small block Chevy in it 
Here's a 55 Chevrolet that is uh, still in primer, it looks like. But I like the stance of it, the way, I, the way that it sits up a little bit. And uh, I see he's even got the old school uh, traction bars on there. He's asking 28.5 for this 55. Here's a 69 Chevelle. It still has a 396 in it. Good looking car. Here's a bright red, uh, I guess 73, 72. I'm not really sure which year Camaro. Uh, paint's really got a lot of shine to it. It's got the gloss black stripes. Looks good. Here's a 37 Ford, which it says on the windshield that they're open to uh, trades. This is a Mercury Comet Cyclone. You don't see very many of these, or at least I haven't seen very many of them. It's very original looking. Yeah, the inside looks uh, really good too. Here's a mid 60s Chevrolet truck. Looks really good. They have dropped a LS6 engine in here, which I'm sure will take it down the road pretty quickly. And it's a really clean job too in there. Has the wood wood bed in it. And the interior, they put some updated seats. It's really nice. Here's a uh, 68 AMC Rambler station wagon, which I just like. It's just really neat. I like this. This is part of uh, American history. The old uh, American Motors Corporation. It says this is a Nissan S Cargo. I've never seen this before, but uh, hey, it's a cute little vehicle. It says it was imported from Japan. Here's a SSR, which was, I guess, Chevrolet's version of a uh, hot rod pickup. Here's a Maverick Grabber. You don't see a lot of these around, but I know some guys had these when I was in high school years ago. They, they weren't that expensive back in the day. So I guess uh, a lot of guys had them. Here's a cool little 51 Plymouth uh, two-door wagon, which I just think is neat. I like the white, uh, wide white wall tires, the baby moons on the uh, red rims. Let's get inside. It uh, also still looks mostly original, except for, I guess, the skull and the shifter knob. Yeah, I like the pinstriping they did there too. Here's a 53 Packard, which I know very little about Packards, but this one, I do like the way it looks. Here's a Dodge Super B, uh, really bright green, really nice looking car. And it is beside a 69 uh, Camaro. I've always liked this uh, Super B stripe that was on the back of these cars. Here's a Pontiac GTO convertible. I, I'm not sure, I think it might be a 65 model. Really nice Camaro, it is just really clean. I mean, super clean. Comes old 57 rolling by. Here's a really nice, nice 55 Chevrolet. And it looks like it's got all the bells and whistles on it. It's uh, tagged as having a 502 uh, engine in it. There's a mid-60s uh, Chevrolet truck. On the side, I think it says it's a 36 uh, Chevrolet. A little pickup here. Here's Robert's uh, Rat rods, I guess. I guess it's a shop truck. This says they buy rusty old cars and they do fabricating. Here's a Ford EXP, and I can't remember when the last time I saw one of those. Side a nice uh, Chevy pickup there, late 60s, I think. Here's a nice example of a uh, Dodge Dart Swinger. Somebody's taking good care of.
This is a 2011 uh, Challenger, but boy, they've taken really good care of it, looks like. It's really, really in good condition. And this one, the paint has seen better days. It's peeling there on the top, but it looks like they have been working on it. Here's an old uh, record, and it says Toby's Wonderful World of Erosion. Seems like I may have saw this here last year. I'm not, not sure. Nice little black Trans Am here. Little roadster sitting here. And here's a 68 Camaro, it's orange, it's got the, the nose stripe on it. And uh, I got it sitting up a little bit too, I like that. And sorry for the big truck. Here's a couple of interesting vehicles. This is an old Chevrolet uh, truck. And it says this is a 34 Olds, but uh, they've definitely done some modifications on this. Really cool though. Here's another little lowered uh, rat rod. It says 47 Dodge. And there's a mid-60 uh, Chevrolet flying A service, service truck. And a uh, Ford, I don't know what your model is, maybe early, mid-70s. Late 70s, I'm not sure. Here's a 28 Ford. They've modified heavily. Here's a 69 Nova that has a hood scoop. And it is beside a 1970 Chevelle Super Sport, which is also a convertible. Got a big block engine in it. It's just 396, it says. I think I found Camaro Row. There are, let's see, one, two, three. There are six Camaros in a row right here. And we got a 69 Super Sport, and here's a, another 69 Z28. And another 69. And here's a 68 really shiny black paint on it and this would be I think 73 72 I'm not sure which one it would be or actually through 73 because there's a 73 model here's a 55 Chevrolet that I really like the color of beside this 69 Chevelle and here's a Buick, which Buick doesn't get represented enough up here at the Rod Run. But I see he's actually added a uh, dump exhaust to this one. You can see it coming out in front of the uh, back tire there. It's an orange and black Challenger. And I have no idea the year model of if I took a wild guess, I'd say around 73 or something like that. But I'm really not sure. Here's a uh, 74 Plymouth Scamp. And uh, this one looks like it's in really good condition. The engine compartment is really clean on it. Again, I like those stripes that go over the uh, back of the trunk deck. No rumbling by there. Here's a 1970 Ford pickup truck. I see it's got a big block engine in it. 
and uh, he's got just black rims on here for the wheels and I, I think that looks good it must be really clean underneath too I see, see he's got a mirror laid out there so you can see underneath a really pretty Ford uh, Galaxy 63 model it says There's a little MG, which I don't know a lot about those. But you saw the scamp a minute ago. Here's the uh, duster, which I guess they're cousins or something. Really, really nice Jeep I got set up there. Here's a big white uh, Cadillac, Cadillac converter. <laughs> Cadillac convert Cadillac convertible. <laughs> I think I was trying to say, a, a, I don't know what I was trying to say, but anyway, it looks like Elvis is in the back seat here. I don't know if you can see it through the glare of the window, but they do have Elvis in there. Dark green mid-60 uh, Chevrolet truck here. There's a little Ford Falcon. I've always liked these little cars. They're just kind of, they're small, but they're just kind of clean looking. It says this one has a 289. Got a 69 Camaro convertible. And here's a 68 uh, Chevelle convertible. And it's sitting beside a 1970 Chevelle Super Sport. And they've dropped the LS engine in this one. Here's a fastback Mustang that I really like. I think it's a 69 model. And uh, I really like the shape of this body, the way it's made. I think 70 is almost identical to it. But that really looks good. It's got the rear uh, wing and louvers on the back glass, which I always thought was uh, really cool. Nice little rod right here. Looks really good with that flame job on the side. Those baby moons really stand out. It's a 61 Chevrolet uh, four-door station wagon. Got the surfboard on top. And a 65 Chevrolet Bel Air. Here's Rat Fink uh, towing uh, tow truck here. See, so you've got the side pipes on it. Right now, he's not hauling anything but a bicycle, it doesn't look like. Looks like he's got a, a small white Chevy in there. And if you remember the old TV show Hee Haw, I remember they had BR549 was what you called uh, for maybe a car lot or something. I can't remember exactly, but I do remember those numbers. There's another little street rod sitting beside of it. Here's a 69 Dodge Dart station wagon. It's really pretty cool looking. Here's a 68 GMC truck. And you can tell they've added a later year model bed uh, onto it here. There's a really nice uh, 40 Chevrolet pickup truck that's been lowered and chopped, it looks like. I think this red and black really looks good together on this uh, 56 Chevrolet. It's over 40 Ford uh, pickup truck. I see they've added a few custom touches to it there. Here's a 67 Chevelle. It, it says it's a Malibu and it's got 327 badging on it. Here's a 1972 Chevelle. I always prefer the uh, 70 model. It's got the four headlight system, but bodies are pretty similar between 70 and 72. I always forget uh, if it has the solid one piece uh, parking light, it's a 72 model, and a 71 model will have a two piece. Uh, 
parking lot there. So that's one way I can usually identify them if I don't forget. Here's a 65 Mustang and they're asking 12,000 for and it looks really good. That seemed like a reasonable price for this car if you want to get into the uh, uh, collectible car uh, hobby. Here's another really clean uh, 51 Chevrolet truck. Paint looks really good. Really nice wheels that really uh, stand out on this thing. And kind of an unusual sit up in the bed here. I don't, I've never seen that, I don't think. Quite done that way. But either way, it's a pretty truck. Here's a 72 Demon for sale. Here's an old Plymouth. And I really like the front end on it. I have no idea what your model is. Probably somewhere in the late 30s if I took a guess. And it's chained to this little street rod right here. So I guess if somebody steals one, they gotta steal both because they're chained together. But uh, both of them are neat little cars. It says Speed King 1927. So I guess it's a 27 model. It does have a Corvette engine in it though. Somebody's made a racer out of this little GMC right here. Got a uh, supercharger with two fours on it, and it is for sale for 34.5. Looks like I got a full row cage inside, and it is tubbed out in the back. So this is uh, for some serious speed, I guess. Well, that 41 Dodge there is really a pretty vehicle, and they've really got some good paint on there. Whoever did the paint and body work it on it did a good job. Here's the back end. Uh, it does have a wood bed and they made a matching uh, wood chest in the back there to store their items in. And it's really nice inside too. You got the uh, leather bucket seats it looks like. Some cup holders, an all custom dash. It's a really nice truck. Now here's either a 55 or a 56 Chevrolet. Uh, I can't tell which one. And here's another little street rod right here. It's got an old flathead on it. So this is definitely old school. But it's a solid black 56 Chevrolet there. Sit beside an older Ford pickup truck. There's a little orange Ford Pinto. There's not a lot of these uh, left on the road anymore. And there's a pretty... Uh, Ford Mustang, that blue and silver really look good together. These old uh, cutlasses are starting to show up more and more too. Uh, they were really popular back in the day when they were new. There's an 85 Chevrolet Ford, well GMC four-wheel drive. And a 67 Camaro. Yeah, this 67 Camaro here, it's uh, got a swapped in uh, LS engine here. Has a few custom touches on the interior. Here's a nice 57 wagon, and it's kind of a bluish purple color. It's, it's really hard to describe. And Right now we still got, it's springtime, we still got pollen flying everywhere, so it's, all the vehicles have some pollen on it. But something I have noticed, they have removed the back door handles, which is something I'm seeing more and more on four-door cars and station wagons, to kind of clean the lines up a little bit. Here's a 66 uh, GTO in the gold color, and it does say it has the uh, tri-power four-speed. Who doesn't love seeing a good Volkswagen bus? They, they just seem to be happy vehicles. And I see that one, they've got curtains in it and they've got wide interior. But anyway, yeah, Volkswagen buses are cool. This one says on the back to think pink. And uh, they definitely did, there's a lot of pink here. And even the wheels, if you can see it here, the insets on the wheels are even pink, but uh, 
if you're looking for a pink car, I'd say this one would definitely fit the bill. And I guess a little 65 Mustang convertible beside it. Or 66, rather, it says. And here's a big blue Cadillac, 56, your model. That's really pretty. Boy, that's a big car. Check out that hood in on, on that. Now here's an SSR that somebody got uh, really creative with. It's yellow with a white top, which I've never seen one, one with a white top before. But as you can see, it has yellow wheels, wide white walls, and they have named it Buttercup. So that's, that's, that's different. It's cool. And somebody has shortened a 55 Chevrolet and stubbed it up, and it looks like a old T-Bird Opera one is in the back. I used to see this years ago, but you don't see it very often now. Now the front lawn on this Mountain Breeze Motel here in Pigeon Forge is just filled with uh, hot rods and old cars. And I'll try to make my way up through there here in a moment. Here are two 69 Camaros. It says this one is a uh, RS. And this one looks like it has been raced. It's also 69, but the tag says Copo 69. They have the wind sticker here, and according to this one, it was new. It was 3849. And originally it started out at 2700, and as you look down the list, it shows a high performance unit, which was an additional $489. So that's cool. Here's a 56 Chevrolet. You can see two four barrels sticking out through the hood. The wheel wells have been cut out, so this looks like an older uh, build, but you can definitely see the influence from the 60s in there with the uh, shag carpet. 60s and 70s, that was really big, I believe. Really clean looking uh, mid 60s Chevrolet truck. Beautiful vehicle. And on the other side of it over there, I think I see a 66 Chevelle. Malibu, it says. And here's a Henry J. It's a 51 model, it says. I know a lot of people used to race these years ago, I guess because it's a smaller bodied car, not as much weight. I just walked by this car and it is running and I didn't even realize that you can't even hear it run hardly. I just happened to hear a little bit and seen some movement as I walked by the engine compartment. It still has the old generator on it. There's another view of that uh, blue pickup. and. It looks like it must have recently been done because everything is just pristine looking on it. It even still has the covers on the uh, chains for the latches on the tailgate. As you can see, the, the bed is just really, really beautiful in there. And here's a Pontiac Ventura that has been lowered. And the side is a 1970 Camaro. There's a little 62 Chevy too. I hadn't seen very many of those yet up here. It is for sale, I believe. There's a number, but no price. And my wife told me to take a look at this 67 uh, Camaro. I think she uh, has taken a liking to it. It has old style American mags on it. Here's a 63 Ford pickup truck. It, it looks like it has candy paint on it. It's really uh, got a deep gloss to it. Side it's a uh, Corvette. Here's a nice old Chevrolet pickup truck. And I mean, it is really pretty. It's been uh, 
chops and whoever did the paint work and did the flames on this uh, congratulations you did a really good job this is a really nice pickup truck a lot of custom uh, touches on it as you can see you've got a nice clean wood bed and the back end has been reworked also as you can see a few upgrades that's really nice here's another 71 uh, dodge dart i think i saw one a little bit earlier somebody has flamed this uh, 78 corvette here this is a 68 gmc and it says this is a 496 big block and that is a lot of engine for a pickup truck This is a 72 Nova, and it has Yinko striping on it. Uh, I don't know if, I, if it's actually Yinko or they just did it that way because they put a uh, 468 big block in it. And Yinko, I would think it would be more valuable with original type setup in it. But it's really a pretty car. And no less pretty is this. Uh, orange with black strap Camaro right here beside it. Oh, there, there are so many cars up here. There, there's more cars than you can see uh, in a weekend up here. And you see there's another 69 Camaro back there that's yellow. It has started to rain here in Pigeon Forge, and they say it should be a brief shower, but we are taking shelter underneath one of the uh, canopies of a store here. But as you can see, there, there are a lot of cars here just in the parking lot. Uh, I think we're at a Domino's Pizza. This is a pretty old Chevrolet right here, 62, 63, I think. And I noticed it looks like it's got uh, wheels from a, like a 78 through 82 Corvette maybe. But uh, anyway, it, it is raining now and I'm walking around with an umbrella so it's kind of hard to, uh, to film right now. But I don't want to miss any of this. There's old Mustang by there. And I'm gonna say this is custom right here. This 1960 Chevy really does look good right here. It's really a long car. But uh, the way those fins flatten out back there in the back is, is really, that was really some design back in the day. Pretty. Now here's an unusual rat rod, and they've really put a lot of work and money into this, I would say. Here's an early 50 Chevrolet truck that's up on a uh, four-wheel drive frame. And I think it's neat the way they took chains and put it around the uh, front headlights there. It's a cool touch. Nice Chevelle wagon. Again, I, I like station wagons. Side of it is a 66 uh, Chevelle four door. There's another old Chevrolet pickup truck. He's got the hood cut out there, engine exposed. And this, I'm, I'm guessing it's a Mercury, I'm not sure. But it really looks good, really good flame job on this. And I don't know if you can hear the rain hitting the umbrella or not, but it is still raining. Well, there's a lot of nice cars here. Here's a Dodge uh, Challenger for all you Mopar fans out there. And 
set aside a little uh, 66 or 67 Chevy 2 Nova. And I like the color on this. I'm a bluish purple color. I got a really bright paint job on this Mercury right here. work must have went into that for sure. And this is one of the smallest little cars I've ever seen. But it does have a row cage inside. Cover behind it is a 70 Chevelle Super Sport. The side of a 68 Camaro, the side of a 69 Camaro. Side by side, you can see how much they changed from 68 to 69 on the Camaros there. It's a really nice uh, 69 Camaro, really sleek paint job. Again, the rain is coming down. I think that's an old American Motors vehicle. I'm not sure. Commander, okay. There's a 70 Chevelle, which is a 69 Chevelle beside it. So, again, put them side by side. The red one is a 70, the black one is a 69. And you can see how much they changed from 69 to 70. And beside 69 is a 67. So again, a lot of change in just a few years. And then there's another 70. There's a little AC Cobra right here. And I don't know if it's a replica. Not, not most are, but uh, what really gets my attention is this early 50s, I think, Chevrolet. And Looking at it, you don't notice it that much, but then when you get up a little closer, you can see all the chrome is actually airbrushed on there. It's not actually chrome on this vehicle. So somebody put a lot of work and effort in this, and they did a good job. The outcome come on it is great. And my wife said this is one of her favorites right here that she saw so far. Here's a 66 Chevelle. It's got the uh, red line tires on it. Now here's something interesting. Somebody took this little Chevy 2 and they have made a El Camino out of it. Actually, did a pretty good job, it looks like. And it is for sale for $32,000. Here is a Packard Clipper for $22,500. It's a 56 model. Here's a 57 Chevrolet four-door wagon. Looks like it's in pretty good condition. Here's another older Mustang, 65, 66, somewhere in that area. Here's a little newer Mustang. And here's one that's getting close to brand new. I really like that orange. It actually says this is a 2017, but I do really like that color. Here's a really nice bright red uh, Ford Fairlane, and it looks like it's totally stock except for the wheels. And I looked inside, the interior looks stock off, so they, they've added a couple of speakers to the back, but other than that, it looks like it would be uh, pretty much as it came. 
course, the uh, dice uh, shifter knob I'm sure it wasn't standard when it was new. This will be a 58 or 59 uh, Chevrolet truck. It has, does has the Cameo bed, which up until they started making these, I think all, all trucks were step sides. Nice old Bronco somebody brought here. So like it looks like it's in really good condition. And this is one of my favorite cars. It's a 1970 Plymouth Roadrunner. I really like that. Here's a really pretty 47 Ford convertible. And I mean it's really got some shine to it. And it is beside a Trans Am. Here's an old Falcon station wagon. And they got lettered for McCoy's Hardware, which is general merchandise, farming, and electric. I like the colors on this uh, Ford Crown Vic. And uh, as you can see, the, the colors continue on into the interior. Is this. That's really neat looking in there. Here's a nice little Chevy 2 Nova station wagon. I don't see a lot of these. This is really nice. Here's a old Studebaker rollback truck. Got it painted in a shiny green color. Here's a roll of Chevrolets, starting with the 57. And I don't know the year model on these next two coming up. This one, this one I'd say is probably somewhere in the mid to late 30s. And again, it's just a guess. I, I have no idea. A really clean flatbed uh, farm truck. There, they really. Uh, Really brought that one back to life there. And here's another 57. And I think that's an original color on that. There's a two tone uh, 56. And a Ford pickup, late 60s or around 70, somewhere that that era. Here's a really clean 54 Chevrolet that somebody's restored. And this behind, beside that 60 Chevy there. I'm seeing more and more of these early 50 Chevrolets uh, pop up at car shows and stuff. For years, 55 through 57 has got all the attention, but now these are kind of coming into their own. Nice 70, 71 model pickup somewhere in there. And they've got this little street rod for sale for uh, 9,500. Sorry, got the race number on there for you. Here's a mid 60s GMC that uh, they have just kind of sanded it off, it looks like, and uh, cleared it. But it's still got the, uh, the dents in it from a uh, long life of use. But I'm glad to see it's still on the road. Here's a Boss 302. I hadn't seen that color there a whole lot, but it looks really good. I think it's a 70 model, it's a 69 or 70, I think. Really nice uh, blue and white 56 Chevrolet there. And he's got some really wide tires on the back, so I'm guessing they probably had to, to tub that. Here's another nice uh, 68 Camaro. And on the windshield, it is marked sold. Here's a 1970 uh, Chevelle convertible, super sport. And it is for sale also. 
both of these uh, 67 Camaros are marked sold. I haven't seen many of these. I can't get over there to it, but it looks like a rat rod uh, semi truck over there. Maybe I can get him pulling out. Yeah, that's kind of different there. Yeah, I think so. Thanks for watching. Please give us a thumbs up and subscribe, and we'll see you in the next video. Bye.